Hello everybody, welcome to IT Skills channel. My name is Aiden. In this video, we're going to take a look at VMware and Broadcom relationship and why I put the end. Basically, there's a news broke out yesterday and that it's not good for people who like to do home lab, for people who like VMware, people who are VMware certified, people who have any partnership with VMware. And in my situation, I actually like VMware. I have done a lot of videos. I have, you know, compared VMware or Hyper-V. I actually like it a lot better than Hyper-V. And so, but since about five months ago, since VMware was acquired and, you know, purchased by Broadcom, we have seen turbulent news for VMware people. You know, they have been layoffs. They have been, you know, change of product offerings. You know, they have been changes of pricing. They went from perpetual licensing to subscription licensing. But the most disturbing news for everyday people like me and you, it's going to be this news right here. Let me pull it up over here. So this is the news that was basically we saw today. And it says here, VMware is going to terminate their free ESXi license. And so that is a bad news. If that's true, and I see it being true because a lot of people posting about it, that's not good for people to start, you know, messing with VMware. VMware is almost like for the rich right now. You have to be super wealthy the way Broadcom has made it. And so that is not good because now if you want to Hyper-V, you know, just like, you know, let's just say you're tired, you're tired of Microsoft Hyper-V. You don't want to use anything like, uh, you know, else. You want to try VMware because you like VMware the way it works. You can't do it anymore. You have to purchase a license, get a trial you know, standalone ESXi, and then if it, if it runs out, then, you know, you're basically have to pay for it. The free version made it seem like, uh, you know, VMware was going to be around, and that's why I went ahead and deployed a VMware, you know, environment in my in my house, you know, for a couple, you know, a couple of great machines that's hosting for me. I also made videos about how to install VMware on Intel Nuke, and it just worked fine, because unlike other hypervisor, VMware made it easy to actually leverage you know the existing hardware you have you didn't have to have a enterprise hardware intel nuke is not enterprise hardware it's literally consumer hardware and it worked fine with vmware esxi server but if you talk about the likes of let's just say hyper v the likes of you know maybe nutanix and other major hypervisor hypervisor player you're gonna have to have a hype hardware with the more beef the hardware has to be strong and i just think that's a sad loss for the industry day you know so again like we've seen with a lot of acquisition before this was a bad acquisition it may have been a win for vmware investors but it's been a bad acquisition for vmware users you know it enthusiasts people who like to do their home labs because now we lost one major player which is why i have put in basically the offering the end you know basically we are we had a good run with vmware now is the end it's now for us time to look for another hypervisor another maybe look into hyper v now i know a lot of people don't like it you know for obvious reason maybe the snapshot feature is not as well as vmware maybe there's other things you just don't like maybe you just don't like microsoft i don't know what the deal is but some people don't like it i don't mind using it but i prefer vmware if i had to choose between the two but i guess right now the choice of vmware is gone we're gonna have to you know, come to the terms of what happened, you know, as they say all the time, all good things must come to an end. And this, in the case of VMware, it was a good thing for the industry. It was a good thing for a community, but it has come to an end. And so I guess what I wanted to hear from you is that, what do you think of this news? You know, comment below. Do you think, are you devastated as I am with this news regarding VMware is excited going away? Or are you just like, you know what, yeah, it's just another thing. It's not, doesn't change my, my mind or doesn't change my world. Because again, you have to think, VMware is not something that it just came around yesterday, you know. Anywhere, anyway, anywhere you've been at it, whether you're in a you know, consumer environment, small environment, VMware has been a player. You don't even realize it sometimes, but it's running your high, you know, VMs in a data center somewhere. Or, you know, somebody who's learning to become an IT certified using VMware, you know, either running Citrix, you know, virtual environment or, 
either running maybe in this case Cisco routers, everything you can think of it. VMware is also great for home automation. So, but yeah, I'm just uh, you know devastated. You know, I want to put my thought out there because when I see this, it's like I, I had to make a video about it. There's no way I could go ahead and actually you know you know just leave it because when I saw the termination of perpetual license, I'm like yeah. You know it's bad but you know everything has to be subscription out of this but then seeing this you just know that you just have to talk about it i want to hear from you guys who are using vmware who are a fan of vmware and i've so i know you guys seen a couple of my videos about vmware what do you think of this news do you like it do you hate it let me know comment below thank you for watching and i'm sorry for the bad news but this is what vmware brought us and or in this case broadcom brought us and we're just gonna have to talk about it rather than trying to hide it, I guess. So thank you. Have a great rest of the day. Peace.